Half of Guyana's population can't afford to buy a piece of pumpkin that used to knock dog. A thin slice, look it's there, is now a thousand dollars. Five US dollar. In the richest and fastest country on earth today that is producing gold by the tons and oil by the shiploads weekly. A mega Chinese company walk in and build a city that will outlast Georgetown in our gold fields. Look, it's there. Crushing away day and night. Our gold and our diamonds galore built their own airstrip, which me and you can't even land. We big toe on without getting their permission. Check and see at the gold board what they're declaring. Hey! Now we are being told. A Canadian company who was sussing out for quite some time now <laughs> in our gold fields is ready to crush and extract. And now, them also wants to build their own airstrip plus a wharf to fetch out your gold and your diamonds. Man, they are so brazen that they are requesting we put customs and immigration at their wharf and the airstrip to make their lives and the goal operations smoother. Them <laughs> announce them sitting on a 4.2 million ounces of gold. Don't ask me how much them sleeping on or walking on. That is not for me and your ears. That information is only for them and their bodies. Imagine you barely struggling to get through 2023 if you can find a piece of pumpkin to match your pocket. And these people have plans with your gold and diamond fields until 2041. Hmm. Man, this company more bad than President Ali. Them want everything them bring into Guyana to be offloaded at their wharf. Not the Georgetown Wharf, where me and you got to go pay with Jews. Eh -eh. Them want to create their own Guyana within Guyana. Beat that one. So that they can ship in, they can fly in, they can ship out and fly out what they want. This country and the resources belongs to them. Hey, hey. Them even have the sites marked off already for the airport and the wharf. And was bold enough to say the wharf is to facilitate their importation of anything and everything. And the more than half mile airstrip is to accommodate caravans and twin otter airlines to fetch out our resources three and four times a week. You could beat that. Eh -eh. But don't worry. Every day, another dog food stand opening across Guyana to cater for the Guyanese dogs. <laughs> 